There are many kinds of engines on the railroad. Joseph is built to pull fast passenger trains. Andrew is a small engine with small wheels, but can move freight cars or engines around the yard easily. Marilyn is a big engine built to pull freight trains. She has ten small wheels and is meant to be strong rather than fast. She's a very kind engine, but doesn't like it when freight cars play tricks. One day, she pulled into the yard to collect her next train. At the very front of the train was a boxcar named Bernie. He loved playing tricks on engines more than any other freight car. When Marilyn came along, he scoffed and said, Look, they sent a little lady to pull us. She can't pull us, the other cars said. She could hurt herself. But Marilyn took no notice. She coupled onto the train and started off. Come on, off we go, she whistled. At first, the cars behaved well. But soon, Bernie whispered back to them. There's a hill coming up. As we go up, put on your brakes, just a little. Make it a challenge for her. Marilyn didn't hear this, and puffed on happy and determined. As she started up the hill, that's when the cars began to put on their brakes. Marilyn felt it getting harder to pull. Come on! She strained and smoked her way forward. The cars laughed. Finally, she reached the top. Her wheels were starting to ache, but she couldn't stop now. She caught her breath and began going down the hill. Normally, trains are supposed to use their brakes when going down steep hills, so they don't go too fast. But the cars were still playing tricks. Bernie whispered back to them. Brakes off! Push her down the hill! Marilyn felt the weight of the train against her. She tried to hold them back, but they kept sliding down the hill. No! Stop! Go on! 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 Her engineer finally gained control. The train was safe now, but Marilyn was very upset. The cars just kept laughing at her. At last, Marilyn finished her journey and was uncoupled. As she took on fuel and water, a switcher came up. She heard the cars laughing and saw that Marilyn looked upset, so she asked what was wrong. Marilyn explained everything. I think I have an idea, the switcher said. Marilyn coupled up to Bernie. I hope you're all right, he said mockingly. These cars can get a little rough sometimes, you know. You certainly gave me some good exercise. I'm impressed. I do my best. Marilyn knew Bernie was too conceited to suspect her plan. Her engineer uncoupled Bernie, and Marilyn pulled him out of the siding. She pushed him onto another line, and then carried out her plan. She threw on her brakes, and sent Bernie rolling away. Hey! What's going on? Help! Then he saw the switcher coming up behind him. She bumped him right back the other way. Then Marilyn bumped him again. And then the switcher. Back and forth several times, they played a game like soccer with Bernie. At last, he could take no more. Enough! Enough! The other cars had seen everything. They whispered between themselves and every other car they met. Don't play tricks on Marilyn, or she'll bump and push you around herself. Marilyn never had another problem with rowdy freight cars. And whenever she saw Bernie, the boxcar would remain respectfully silent. I've been working on